We did have some students drop out over the five year course. In the earlier stages, the most common reason for people dropping, up, dropping out was probably the pressure. It was a very competitive course and I'm sure it is at the other universities too. So initially it was you know, students just saying it's all a bit too hard, it was a bit too competitive. Around the middle we had more, uh, more students transfer out rather than drop out. Usually they got into medicine. A lot of students came to optometry because they didn't get into medicine originally. So around that third year, that's when a few students went, you know, I really do want to do medicine and they transferred out. And in the final stages, the most common reason for uh, failing or, or dropping out was communication. So it really wasn't until third, fourth and fifth year that you start doing what we call clinical optometry, which is where you actually go into the, the universities, you work in their clinics and you test patients. And that's where we found a lot of students struggled because that's when it was really critical that they could talk to people, form relationships and communicate. And that's where a lot of people struggled. You can definitely learn to become a better communicator. Um, and that's one of those things with a lot of students that was hard for them to identify. A lot of people don't understand what good communication is. They sort of think if I can talk to someone, I'm a good communicator. It's not so much about that, it's about listening, it's about um, empathising, so under showing people that you understand where they're coming from. And that was a really, a really critical part. So a lot of students did think, I can talk, I can communicate, but communication is more than that. Sure, other there's students do drop out, they do change courses along the way, um, and, and each for individual reasons. You know, some uh, there was someone in fourth year who broke her leg and then had a family tragedy, uh, and she didn't make it through. Now, I, I don't even know whether she picked it up the following year, but things happen in life. Uh, there, were, there were students you know, further away from that random sort of life gets in the way stuff because that's a minority. Some people decided uh, before fourth year, before first year was out. This isn't for me, and they switched subjects. They went to uh, one went to dietetics, one went to podiatry, and there's a happy podiatrist now. And you know, it, things things can change. You can get into a course, and there's no loss. That's okay because those that dietitian, that podiatrist, has a little bit of a glimpse and has some friends who are optometrists. They have a bit of an understanding of the, of the profession, and I think that's valuable too. It makes them a more rounded person. students that struggled through the course, what I found was probably the most common reason for struggling was just not putting enough work in. Optometry requires a lot, of, a lot of extra work. If you're just doing the assignments, if you're just doing the bare minimum, you're not going to really cut it. Uh, at Uni of New South Wales, we actually had, you needed a credit to pass. So you couldn't just get 50 and get through, you needed a mark of 65 in everything. So that's where a lot of people struggled. Because you know, through some through school for some people, it was P's get degrees, that type of philosophy, and really in optometry, you couldn't. The other thing was that every year you were just adding to your foundation of knowledge. So if you just wrote, learnt things, it wouldn't work. You really had to understand why you were doing things, and that would sort of allow you to follow through. So the kids that struggled tend to be the ones that didn't work that hard, crammed the night before, and then two weeks later had forgotten what they'd learnt. Um, the kids that, to get into optometry in my year, the cutoff was 99, which meant you had to be in the top 1% of the state to get in. So there was no doubt that the people we, that were in were smart. They were book smart, they could study, they could do maths, they could do English. But I think what happens with a lot of students is that they can work so hard through their final studies at school, they can do really well at certain subjects that have nothing to do with optometry and then they can get into optometry and struggle. Uh, one example, I had a friend who did very well in Year 12 based on doing drama, English, history, and when he got into science, really struggled because it's a completely different thing. Yeah.